In the bustling city of Tokyo, there's a programmer named Miyamoto. After the pandemic, his IT company decided to permanently adopt a remote work model. Initially, Miyamoto felt both excited and anxious about this change. The boundaries between work and life became blurred, but at the same time, he enjoyed the freedom of not having to commute daily. Miyamoto began exploring a new way of life, transforming a corner of his home into an office space. He bought an ergonomic chair, a large screen monitor, and even added some greenery to create a pleasant work environment. Gradually, he found himself more focused on work, no longer distracted by the minor disruptions of the office. However, he also faced new challenges, a sense of loneliness. Miyamoto realized how much he relied on social interactions at the office. To address this, he started looking for solutions online. He joined a virtual workspace specially designed for remote workers, where members regularly held video meetings, shared work progress, and even took breaks together online. A year passed, and Miyamoto had fully adapted to this new work mode. He had more time to pursue personal interests, like learning Japanese calligraphy and attending online cooking classes. He also discovered that being location independent allowed him to work from anywhere in Japan, so he began planning trips to Kyoto and Asaka, working while traveling. Miyamoto's story inspired his colleagues to explore the possibilities that remote work brought them. The company's leadership noticed an increase in employee happiness and team productivity, so they decided to invest more resources, such as online training tools and better collaboration software, to further support this work style. As time passed, Miyamoto and his team became more autonomous and efficient. They learned how to balance work and personal life while maintaining team cohesion. Miyamoto deeply understood that, although remote work has its challenges, it also brings opportunities and freedom, something he had never imagined before.